Here's a close up of the attack. Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Divers React 2. My name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And as you saw in the quick preview, there's been a shark attack that we're going to be talking about. And, you know, I think a lot of people that watch our channel already know that we love sharks. We're not intimidated by them. We want to dive with them. And most people, when they think of sharks, they just think of the gray white. Like, that's it. What I think of, and I haven't seen this yet, is that I'm going to relabel this right now to humans attack shark. I don't believe it's a shark attacking a human. I don't know. You're going to show me this video. But right. sharks just don't attack humans unless humans attack the sharks. Let's roll well, into it and see look. who does what in this video. Let's do it. All right, so you can see there's already weights on the bottom. Great, great start to the dive. These are a bunch of tourists in Fiji. They pay for a shark dive. Shark dive. They're going to be diving with some beautiful humongous tiger sharks typically they're skittish and less provoked yeah. tigers are very skittish they're they're awesome they're, they're, oh, so, they're beautiful. so beautiful i think they're known to have the most powerful jaw of any species in the world so the jaw very power camera work by this guy yeah. right now i'm talking because there's nothing really to of see of course yeah look at that dangling octopus great so these are the divers that pay a lot of money to go into a shark dive, which is basically they take a bunch of dead fish and blood and guts and all of that down there and they just release it and watch the sharks feeding to a frenzy, basically. Well, if they release it and stay way back out of the way and get out of their way and don't mess with the sharks at all there should be no issue whether or not we believe in shark feeding let's not get into this on this no. video i know that's a very controversial topic yeah and we asked by the way the people in socorro if we can come and dive with great whites but like off the off the cage and they said no because we do frenzy them like we do feed them like this so yeah. you gotta they're just biting anything so that's why right. we, we don't allow it Interesting, he's in a full face mask. Yeah. To be communicating with somebody. He's a pro. There's a beautiful tiger. Look at that thing. It's awesome. By the way, you know they're a tiger as it hopefully gets close to them. You'll see stripes all along their body. Amazing. So they're very easy to identify. Look at like, these guys standing on the bottom. All of them at the bottom. Well, I, I will say sometimes when they're doing shark feedings, they do overweight people to keep them down. They yeah. don't want them floating up into the water column near the sharks when they're eating. Yeah. So we'll out of that. fairness, that is that is done on purpose. Oh my God, what a beauty. Okay, now I already have a problem. Yeah. So I, I'm going to pause it. I have a problem. Do you think you know what the problem is? Why did I pause it? They're harassing... Touching. He, he already is harassing that shark. The shark. So yeah. already I'm leaning more towards humans are attacking a shark. A shark's swimming by. You're reaching up and provoking them. That's and we do get comments, wrong. by the way. We, we do get comments about this. It's like, oh, you guys said you shouldn't touch a turtle, but why not? It's like because you don't harass marine life. They even tell you yeah. at Blue Grotto there's some turtles there, uh, soft shell tur turtles. They said if you touch them, if you try to mess with them or whatever, they can actually swim down. Like they can get scared, swim down, and then not have enough air to come out and breathe again. Because there turtles are go. reptiles. They have to breathe air. And that's the why. You see, yeah. you're, you're disrupting their natural behavior. Okay, let's continue. Sure. Smashing tanks into the bottom. Imagine how loud that is for the sharks. It's like, look at these bubbles. You know, there's a lot of conversation. Oh, of, so beautiful. Yeah. There's a lot oh, of the stripes. You're saying there's a lot of conversation? About what? 
give me a second and I'll tell you what I was going to say. I, I do want to say it, but I want people to see this first. And I want to watch it too. Yeah, this is all, I, I have a major problem with what's going on. All right, I am going to pause it. First of all, there is a conversation about, is it good, is it bad to have these shark feedings? Obviously, for the purpose of you're making money, you're bringing people down so they can see the sharks. I'm not preaching an opinion. I'm telling you that one argument will be it's very bad because you're disrupting their natural behavior. Maybe they won't eat if you feed them on their own, although there's proof that they do, in fact, eat if you stop feeding them. They're shown to go eat on their own just fine. They have to. The argument for it would be um, awareness. We're educating you about them. You get to see them up close. You're learning more about them. You see how they're not bad, how if you just observe them and stand back, they're they're totally fine. The other argument is you are just disrupting their natural behavior and you're not going to just sit back and you're not going to leave them alone and you are going to touch them and somebody's going to get hurt and give a bad rap to the shark. That's the negative of what can happen. So if this is done incorrectly and this guy's already swimming after him on the left, that's bad. I would tell this operator, you should not be allowed to do this anymore. Right. That's what I want to sort of set the stage of what I think this video is going to. And I think to. that's the one positive thing about the cage is that you can go and harass them. They can swim away and you're in the cage. So that's a good one good thing that I like about it. I agree. Oh, look at that thing. It's huge. Beautiful. Yes. Apex predator keeping the balance of the ecosystem. So obviously everything everything seems calm so far. But the guys doing the operating, they're like, oh, we we got to we got to get more sharks. We got to get this going." So they start releasing all these guts and all the chum, right? To make him crazy. And that's what that's what the whole pipe is. See that guy's dragging that humongous pipe through the bottom, destroying all of that. Yeah, and you can see the guys holding they're overweighting them to keep them on the bottom. Yeah. Now the cool thing about this specific dive is that multiple people are filming. So we actually have multiple angles of what happens. Doesn't appear they released any food yet from Look at this. Comes in very bad. To me, that's bad. It's awful. And here's what's funny. This guy, this op so-called operator, he actually believes in his mind, well, I'm different than you all observing. I know how to touch the shark properly. Right. I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing? Is all you're doing is possibly spooking this animal to the point where he possibly thinks... You're attacking me. I have to fight for my life. And I will defend myself. And I'm going to then get the blame as I'm a horrible shark and I attack people. He doesn't know what he's doing. Just leave the shark alone. Yep. It's, it's wrong. You just grab him and push him out of the way. Look at him just standing on the bottom. He's just I don't I don't like anything the way they're doing this. Now they just release the all the stuff you can see. They're going into a frenzy there where that area seems like super dark or, you know, that that's where all the stuff is coming out. All the other fish are joining too. It's not just sharks. I have been in these before. I have participated in uh, as an observer in these. Oh, you have? I have. I've never done that. And I've stopped because I 
yeah. again, I'm not preaching opinion, but overall, I guess I'm finding that the humans just they're, can't resist and they do provoke the sharks. I mean, they're poking them with a pole now. I don't think that pole is sharp or it has electricity or anything like that, but still, nobody gets to, nobody likes to get hit with a pole. So far, there's not much going on, so I'm not commenting. I, we'll see. Uh, it's coming. Yeah, I assume something's coming. The shark's just looking for food. Like, where's the food? Yeah, they've been conditioned, so they know there's food. Oh, look at all those fish. Like, oh, food is out. Now, get away. Back up, dude. Leave them alone. If you're going to feed them, then go away. Right. I don't know what this guy's filming. I feel sorry for the shark. See how the shark couldn't care less about the divers. It's just looking for food. Anything that moves. Is that food? Is that food? Is that, oh, you're pushing me out of the way? Okay, where should I go? That way? This way? Down? Okay. Yeah, We're, but they're... I just love this video because people are like, Oh, sharks are savages! They're getting them into a, a, a crazy frenzy mode. I mean, it's crazy. You're just... You're going to cause a problem by doing what they're doing. By the way, if you look up most like dangerous sharks or whatever, tiger are normally number two after gray whites. That's because if provoked, if provoked, they will fight back. But you can see this humongous tiger who can split any of these knuckleheads in two. It's just there avoiding confrontation. Look at all of those sharks now. That's what they were hoping for. It's like 10 of them. Oh, that guy's coming close, and give me some. Oh. Okay, let me let this play before I pause. Yeah, this is very cool. This is the multiple angles that we're, we're talking about. Hitting him with poles. It's really cool. I'm going to pause in a second, but I want to... Here's a close-up of the attack. Boom! It's a yeah, I don't, I don't think the shark is doing anything in terms of an attack. I think this guy was so lucky. He only ripped off his mask. Yeah, but he caused this problem. Obviously. Look at this girl. He's losing it. This guy knew. He started swimming towards him. Like, no, no, go away, go away. No, let me take this mask. 100% cause this. And this is exactly why shark feeding should not be done because everybody's going to say, wow, look at how awful the shark is. That's pretty much the end of it. Okay. So um, listen, let me ask everybody a question and, and you a question. Have you ever fed your dog you put the food in the dog bowl and then i want you to go lay your face right next to the dog bowl try to eat it and just touch it or eat it along with your dog 90 percent of dogs what's going to happen to your face or hand i gotta now, rip it off yeah it's a natural instinct this is my food you gave it to me it's now mine and i'm self-preserving myself i'm going to eat it if you try to then steal my food we're I'm gonna, gonna fight for it. That happens in the wild. That happens with tigers and all animals, not just sharks. So you now got a shark, the set, the, the uh, with the most powerful bite in the world, the tiger shark, in a frenzy, in an eating frenzy, and you're touching him and you're provoking them and you're getting them crazy, and then you're wondering why he then turned to bite you. Well, he's just biting everything. He's defending his food territory. 
and not actually looking to eat you. You were not a food source to them. You saw them swimming around. So couldn't care less. this is why shark feeding doesn't work because people don't do it properly. I don't think we should do it, but again, if there are people defending it, if you went and set food far away and then everybody swam away and you're observing from a distance, nobody's going to touch those that would be fine. But if the sharks are continuing to come around and you're having to push them away from the spectators or whatever, it's already a problem. Right. You're potentially causing a shark. You're attacking the shark. Yeah. You, so this should be retitled, humans attack shark. Shark defends itself. Obviously. That's it. So I, I'm mad. I, I feel sorry for the shark. Yeah. It's bad. And I, I feel like this video also accomplishes one thing. I hope you guys agree to it as well. That, you know, we do get a lot of comments and questions about why do you say sharks and all these creatures of sea are not a risk to divers? Why would you say that? I mean, here we're seeing sharks that are one of the most dangerous kinds out of the 400, you know, different kinds of sharks. These are number two or three on the list, depending on what list you read. Um, the most dangerous ones and couldn't care less that all these tasty divers were just there doing nothing, uh, ready to go like a burrito wrapped up and ready on that wetsuit. They couldn't care less. No one was getting bitten. No one was getting attacked. There were like 10 of these guys that we saw in the video. They're probably more than that. And the divers were 100% safe. That's why we love sharks. We love to see them when we're diving. They don't care about divers. We're not a food source. You will not get attacked. Whether it's a great white tiger shark, bull shark, whatever it is, just they're awesome. They're safe. They don't do anything. This video, I think, proves that. Yeah. I've only seen a few tigers in the wild. Sand tigers, yes. But um, regular, regular tigers. tigers, I've only seen them a few times in the wild. Uh, it was, two of those times were in Hawaii. The typical pattern was we had to get totally neutral and still, and we were up, and he kind of came up from the bottom, observed us, and then shied away. So you get a quick glimpse of him. He's like, I'm curious as well. Up, oh, you're not attacking me, so I'm going to swim away in a calm manner, and he went away, and he never came back. That's typically what's going to happen in the so-called second deadliest shark in the world. A little shy, maybe I'll get a look, and he goes away. They're so amazing. that's what's going to happen. You're, you're, you know, they're not interested in you. Go so well said. I want to, I want to see one in the wild. I've never seen one. Um, and to me, a, a thresher shark will be. I've seen number one on the list. Yep. I would love to see those. Certain regions you will, and they're really amazing because that tail is just so magnificent. Talk about cool photography. Oh my god. Yeah, and they're and they're and they're very. Um, how do I put it? They will come a little closer, the threshers, from what I saw, and you'll get more of them at one time if you do happen to see one, but they have zero, zero interest in you yeah, whatsoever. They just look magnificent right, with yeah. those, you know, big eyes, and they're just beautiful. You know, there is a lot of stats we could you could research right. about tig about shark attacks versus every other kind of animal attack. <laughs> I actually in the look world. into this. There was a funny one uh, that said this year more people will die of Getting electrocuted with her Christmas tree yeah. than sharks. Now, you could say, well, that's because a lot of people aren't diving with sharks. But the reality right. is people aren't getting attacked by sharks that are just diving and leaving them alone. Almost every single one can be pointed back to the human somehow provoking that shark, yeah. either through a feeding or otherwise. Right. Right. So that's it, guys. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Once again, there's education both ways, right? We talk about shark feedings and these things that happen all over the world. When we were in Mexico last, they invited us to one. We all declined uh, to go do that. This thing happens everywhere. Uh, and also, I hope you learn a little bit more about how these sharks, even though they're scary and all of that, they actually couldn't care less about divers are not a threat. We love them. And hopefully you will love them too. I do love them. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you subscribed. If you haven't done that already, I know that a bunch of you guys are in a, you know, watching Frenzy, watching all of our videos and you haven't subscribed. We also heard from some of you that were subscribers and somehow realized they were not subscribed anymore. Like YouTube 
took you out to test your uh, your loyalty. Uh, so double check your subscription status and hit the bell, obviously, to be notified when a new video comes out. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Thank yep. you so much for tuning in. I want to end with a quick question. Yes. Do you think – this is a serious question. Oh, do you I think know it's that, not going to be serious. No, but do you think the Sharks know what I am? No. Because I, I tend no. – when I'm a, I like the around, they, they tend to come a little bit closer to mm. me maybe because they know that I'm – you know, say it. That's they right. They know that I'm part. That's – let's not. Octo. All right. Plus. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.